Hello again, everyone. Andy Schwab here from the Northern Ag Network as we are in Houston for the National Cattlemen's Beef Association Cattle Conference and Trade Show as we are sponsored by Performance Beef, your easy-to-use cattle management software. Of course, we've stopped off at the Montana State University booth here, 1,700 miles from home for these guys. And Jaden, he's with MSU as well. Jaden, talk about some of the things that you guys have been seeing this week uh, a lot of producers walking by certainly something that uh, you've been able to have some good conversations i'm sure yeah for sure you know we get a lot of people that come by the booth and they just they just see montana you know and so not a whole lot of people from up north down here i mean we ran into some ndsu folks you know won't hold them against it but uh <laughs> yeah they just see montana and they're you know they're like well never been north you know and they say oh it's cold outside and it's 40 degrees and then we're like oh i think it was negative 10 this morning i was without wind chill and they're like oh i've never been anywhere near that and he's like you guys got snow I'm like yeah it's, it snows quite a bit and you know and they're, they're oh man i've never even seen snow but yeah no there's a lot of great things going on a lot of great people coming by and we're we're making a lot of connections down here really getting to know people and see a lot of the big time influencers in industry right now so i mean we're having a great time that's good to hear. I know that you guys uh, also made your way to the Region 5 meeting. Talk about some of the things there. I mean, I, I think wolves and predators were one of the things that were highlighted from uh, the Region 5, of course, uh, talking about the depredation issues in Montana alone. It seems like that's uh, it's been one of the hot topics there, too. Yeah, you know, wolves uh, in Montana right now, it's a kind of controversial topic with everything, you know, people hunting them, people not wanting, you know, to be hunted and then dropping them off in Colorado and how that affects producers down there and people just don't realize you know what how wolves really affect the population and livestock but yeah they talked a lot about that and then uh the, i found interesting from wyoming they did a roundup of their wild horses they had 4200 wild horses that they rounded up and you know they get rid of most of them for conservation uh issues and stuff overgrazing and everything they move them into a bunch of programs but i thought that was really interesting they kind of talked about you know moving cattle you know or trucking fees and costs and all that and everything that's going on with trucking cattle down in Nebraska and all them places right now. But yeah, I got to stand in on a bunch of different people from other places and listen to a little bit what's going on in the cattle programs in other states. So it was uh, very informative. Yeah, certainly. Uh, I know we poked our heads in there as well, and it was uh, it was so packed there was standing room only. Actually, uh, Jaden, tell us just one last thing as we wrap up our interview today. What what was one of the things that drew you to MSU? Well, I, you know, family went to MSU. It's kind of a generational thing, and then you know, grow up and you know, always want to do something agriculture. So that was kind of the number one place to go in state, not too far from home, but uh, enough to get away a little bit to experience something else. So. Uh, you know, and it's a great community and the ag program is really what just brought me there. So appreciate it. That's absolutely true. Well, 1,700 miles to travel home for these guys as well as us. Well, that's going to do it from Houston here at the MSU booth with Jaden from MSU. I'm Andy Schwab from the Northern Ag Network.